All right, good morning. Welcome back. It's, uh, I think, Saturday. It's about 7 o'clock. It rained just about all last night, and uh, we were able to get into camp before that started, but um, that means the tent's wet. Uh, everything else is kind of damp. My sleeping pad has a hole in it. So trying to get off trail to meet up with Gary and Angie Berg, um, my mom's childhood friend, and uh, just sent him a message about resupplying with a grocery, hitting an outfitter, uh, maybe making some other stops, and hopefully that all works out for us. Uh, but until then, we have about 12 miles or more to put in with some elevation changes. Um, but it does look like there's some boardwalks and some maybe more pleasurable walk after that. So breaking down camp as quick as possible and trying to get back on trail to make that uh, efficient timing. So try to be at the trailhead, Warwick trailhead at noon for Gary to pick us up and uh, hopefully that all works out. So until something more exciting happens, I'm out. Peace. In the Middle 12 East. miles, we're about 500 feet into the day. There's the uh, sign for the trail. And this is what it looks like. I guess there's a blaze up there. Not bad, New Jersey, not bad. walk we just did probably like three miles maybe a little bit over that and then we got uh, it's mostly this boardwalk for another three or four um, and it's pretty flat elevation until we get uphill uh, at the end of our hike so I'm gonna enjoy this hikers don't approach the cows that's those cows over there they're not hamburgers yeah ran into a section hiker or day hiker that uh and i don't know if this is on the app but referred to this as the stairway to heaven she said she was hiking up took two miles to the top took her an hour so i think it's manageable for us and it's just a matter of managing your footing on the rocks picking the right path but ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> maybe i'm not doing so hot yet Need some more practice. Up and to the right, her left. Blaze, blaze, blaze. Up. Looks like this has been tough, man. Real tough this fawn. Morning. So cute down there, the spots right next to the water. Hmm. He won't move or she won't move. It's their camouflage. All right, we're coming up on the Warwick Turnpike Trailhead. I've texted Gary a few times. A um, little while ago, I told him we were about four miles out and we'd be there between 12 and 1230. Uh, we've done a great time. and Actually, I think it's just before 12 and we have a 0 0.1, 0 0.2 walk just to the trailhead. And hopefully he'll be there. If not, he should be there shortly. Um, we'll get a resupply and hopefully introduce you guys to Gary and Angie if they're both here so stay tuned not too bad Billy Goat's excited Gary's excited <laughs> we're gonna do the pub and grill live music at Pennington Pennings Farm so pretty cool Still hanging out with Gary, took us out to lunch, did some shopping, now we're doing some laundry, a little bit of everything. I'm uh, here in New Jersey still, and I'm gonna go check out the Bud Bus. Um, <laughs> it's just a bus, and it's called the Bud Bus, so I'm gonna see what it's about. Probably this will never make it to YouTube, but for my <laughs> my purposes, let's document. Picture, get your free Bud from the bus. The Bud Bus, rolling up everywhere. Just hit the Ramsey Outdoor Center, got a new mat. Um, no more sleeping on the ground for me. Sleeping in comfort. We're here at Gary's house still in um, the morning, getting ready to do some slack packing. Um, just waiting for some hiking partners and uh, Gary to come out here to give us a ride to the trailhead. And we're going to do anywhere from uh, 6 to 10 to 
I think 19 or 18, something like that. Uh, see how many miles we can get in. A, we did get a late start because, um, you know, we did sleep in. Uh, it was nice. To, I came out here actually really early and fixed my sleeping pad, which seems to be holding air right now. I did buy another one yesterday. Gary uh, has been kind enough to either return that one or uh, take my other one home, and uh, or Angie will rather. So uh, they're been more than uh, perfect and gracious hosts, uh, and I hope that uh, you know they know that, and I'd you know appreciate. Uh, you know, them getting on our YouTube station channel. All right. Am I leading? You, for now. All right, we'll see you guys in a little bit. Yeah, I'll let you, I'll text if anything changes or... Okay? All right, thank you. All right, just got dropped off the trod. We're gonna do like 22 today. <laughs> BG says no. Um, but we're slack packing, light packs, and see about the terrain and how far we get. My legs definitely feel weird with no weight. <laughs> All right, so Billy Goat and I have made it once again to another milestone, the New Jersey, New York border. So we're gonna be leaving New Jersey and we're gonna be arriving in New York officially in New York. So happy to be at my home state and looking forward to maybe some trail magic from family and the, nobody's gonna see this until it's over like, and I'm through New York. But anyways, it'd be nice to catch up with some of you guys and hopefully we'll get you on film and you guys can come visit me before I get too far north. So just ran into Chance a few minutes ago and if I didn't get him on video before, it's because he asked me not to tape him. Um, but uh, he is a gentleman who's, he's I think Irish or English this time, um, but is bicycling north and hiking south. I think that's what he's doing. So he's covering both yellow blazes of my bike and then white blazes as he hikes. So that's pretty cool. But he also mentioned that we're gonna be able to see the New York City skyline here coming up. So I'm interested to see how much further that is and how clear the shot is. I've seen a couple of pictures. Hopefully I get a nice one myself. This is a picture of uh, Greenwood Lake down here. I'm not sure where exactly uh, Gary and Angie's house is. It could be like straight over this hill. Uh, it could be on the other side. I don't really have any landmarks to give me an idea, but um, pretty cool view from the top. And then you can also see New York City skyline on um, the very far end of the hills there. And it's been a pretty nice day. As high as we can get, maybe we can step back there in a minute and take another video, but I think we're, uh, Gary's house is not too far around this area. We talked about the island. I think there's the marina down there on the right hand side. You can see this skyline. Yeah, you can barely see the skyline, I think, in the back. No, that might be electric lines. Pretty cool shot of the lake again, though. A lot of people out on the lake today. It's a beautiful day in New York. Greenwood Lake. Busy as all, all to get out right now. 15 boats down there in view. Probably a lot more coming out this weekend. Appalachian Trail, Maine, 819 miles north. We're doing it, making it happen here in New York. Making it an easy day slack packing. I don't think. Shit out of me. I had my head down, I was like texting Gary, and then I look up and this gnome riding a chihuahua or something is in the middle of the, uh, I think it's a corgi. Whatever, it's scary, <laughs> creepy. 
So we're about one hour away from Lakes Road. Slack pack around, possibly around 14, 15 miles today. I'll double check the uh, mileage, but decent day. Uh, good views, good people on trail. Just had a little trail magic, Coca-Cola, and uh, finished all the day on a sugar high. New York's been kind of fun so far. Our climb up this rock face, so here goes whatever. Oh, Ooh. let's see, get a shot up, maybe. Just a camera, cameraman. That's nothing. That ain't nothing but a chicken wing. We go up here though. Hi there, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, beautiful day. Yeah, beautiful day for run yeah, running and running, hiking, hiking and, and walking and absolutely. all those things. Day. Thank you. Enjoy. Yes, you too. Enjoy your hike. Yes. 